It's not really about the gear. It's about where it brings us, where it takes us, how it makes us happy when we're doing the things we love. More and more we realize this when we rode and ran in the beautiful hills and forests of Northumberland. A dark and an ancient country, wet and gnarled and green and gray and brown and all these beautiful colors coming at us. So hi Angela. Hi. Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to, yeah. uh, to be here in the stereotypical English, English weather, weather. But very good circumstances to test it the, is. the kit that you're going to uh, be uh, uh, providing us with. But before yeah. we get into that, maybe you could tell us a bit about this, this, this <clears throat> English brand called Bear House. Oh, Bear House, yes. yes. Yeah. It was born and bred here in the northeast of England in Newcastle uh, in 1966 built from uh, a couple of guys who were really keen mountaineers, alpinists, and actually couldn't find the gear that they, they needed to fulfill their dreams and started to produce it themselves. And over a number of years, huge uh, innovations, a number of firsts in gaiters, in backpacks, and also in clothing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's windy, it's rainy out, we're going to go trail running, we're going to go mountain biking, um, yep. and, and, and you've promised to keep us uh, Dry. Dry, yeah, dry, and warm, yes, and comfortable. And comfortable, preferably. <laughs> With it. what? Tell us about it. With what? Got. So, what we have here is the hyper jacket. Is I will let you yeah. let you investigate because this is, as you can see, incredibly, incredibly Just light. Take that out, don't look that. This is part of Berghaus's Fast and Light series that has been around for about two seasons, two summers now. And it's a fully waterproof, breathable 99 gram piece wow. produced by our mountain house team which yeah. is the design and development team within Berg House that brings through all our innovations and basically it's breathable as well as being waterproof and it's designed for exactly the kind of activities that we're doing today so for fast moving yeah. fast and light trail running mountain biking this piece is from last summer, yeah. so for spring 17, we have yeah. a brand new piece. Okay. And the guys in our Mountain House team, we obviously said, okay, so what's next, what's yeah. next? Yeah. And um, I don't think any of us could quite believe it when they came along with, with this one. Yeah. This piece is not only lightweight, but it's also durable, because yeah. it's often a trade-off. It's either lightweight or tough. Yeah. And we wanted to bring the two together so that you invest in something and it's going to last for a number yeah. of years. We'll try to put that to the test while not killing ourselves today. But uh... <laughs> The world's first three layer uh, sub 100 gram waterproof. But it's ridiculous because yep. um, if when I feel this, extremely thin and there's three layers in there. There's three layers, it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. But then as you can see, it also has a sort of yeah. texture to the outer, which is yeah. what's giving it its abrasion resistance. Yeah. It's very, very minimal in its construction, and in fact, if you turn around the center, there are no side seams whatsoever, yeah. which gives you extra stretch. So if yeah. Heiko kind of reaches forwards, you can see yeah. it really gives the impression of, of stretch. Okay, so that's the gear that, that uh, Berghaus has brought for us, and we're gonna go head into the forest uh, soon. And outside, it's it's a very interesting, uh, in a very interesting day. Driving winds, rain. I think the ultimate circumstances uh, to uh, to really test. Uh, Optimum test circumstances, yeah. Absolutely. Here. Yes. It's so amazing, isn't it? It is. It's it a, is. Even on a day like today, it's, it's just 
it's it's beautiful and uh, and because we had feedback in Berghaus immediately just as we progress it's very interesting because we've been riding quite um, uh, a lot and doing a lot of filming as well and there's a lot of like high intensity and then you stand still for quite a while and then you notice actually um, how important good breathability is uh -huh. because I, I warm up a lot in the downhill and the uphill and then I have to stand still and yeah. what I don't want to happen is to cool down immediately mm -hmm. and that multiple times a day because it will just destroy my energy level and yeah. standing here now in the driving rain and, uh, and not being too warm not being too cold the fabric we've been in the rain all day hours at end and it just it's not wet at all just shake it off and it's amazing it's really it's really incredible piece of kit and, uh, and even though the weather is the, about as uh, nasty as can get you know yeah. that normal people are going to be sitting inside with a, by the fire we've, yeah. got, we've got rain we've got wind and we've got temperatures what seven seven eight, eight degrees, degrees celsius, celsius. celsius. There you go.